thanks for tuning in. Today we're talking about graphs and data again. Line graphs specifically. What is a line graph? So, a line graph or a line chart, either way, is a graph that shows data that changes over time. So this is the biggest part of the definition. It shows changes over time. Okay, um, sometimes you might have people that have, uh, maybe they, they're, they're documenting their weight, they're gaining weight or losing weight, and so you, they draw a line as they get it. gaining weight goes up, losing weight goes down, and then it's moving across because as time continues. So data points are plotted on the graph and connected by a line. So it, with bar graphs, with line graphs, um, you're going to compare, you're going to relate the x-axis with the y-axis. So this is a line graph about monthly rainfall in London and Berlin. Okay, purple is London. Yellow is Berlin. January, February, March, April, May. So that, here's your time, and then here's your rainfall. So in January, you know, Berlin had over 40 inches of rain, and then, uh, or millimeters of rain, and then London had 50 millimeters of rain. So that's cool. You can see how the two compare. So here, London has more rain in January, but Berlin has more rain in June. London's down here, Berlin's up here. So that's a super wet month. But then look, super wet month for London in October and dry month for Berlin. That's awesome. So here you have a double line graph and you're comparing two different groups, two different variables. So data points are plotted and then you can connect the line from point to point to point. Okay, and so line graphs, something's falling, right? So the temperature in centigrade versus the rainfall, right? So look, as you have more rain, it's hotter, okay? And as you have less rain, it gets, I'm sorry. Uh, as you have more rain, it's cooler. And as you have less rain, it gets warmer because 17 degrees is colder than 25 degrees in Celsius, right? So this is cool. And then one more look at another line graph. This is a double line graph. So our black line is two, 1981 to 2010 normal. So that's our average, right? And this is Brownsville monthly temperatures, right? So Brownsville near uh, the border of Texas and Mexico. So here's our average. And then the color, the blue and the red, is like right now, Brownsville in 2015. So this old chart, but I'll show you. Blue, because it's colder. For January, February, March 2015, it was colder than the average. But then look, April, May, June, it gets red because it's been warmer than the average. Notice, is there is there a red line here or a blue line? Nope, because the data Temperature's missing for July. The data is missing for July. Okay, so then we pick back up in August. And look, it's it's a blue dot, but then it gets warmer, and then it beats the averages. So that's cool. This is a line chart, a line graph, where you're relating the x-axis to the y-axis, and you're comparing two different variables. Okay, so this is a, a video on line charts. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what I can do to help, and we'll see you next time.